Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so very much for joining me. My name is Christine. Hello. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Scorpio Tarot reading. Scorpio love tarot reading. Scorpio love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Scorpio love messages reading channel love messages from your person messages from their higher self speaking of messages is somebody trying to reach you scorpio somebody here are they go are getting are they getting past the obstacles and the challenges here this is the six of wands it's jupiter and leo energy yeah somebody wants to connect with you Scorpio, I'm channeling for you in October 2023, but we're just on the verge of November 2023. It is Halloween as I channel for you, and you could be here watching in real time. You could also be here in November, and you could be here many months after that, and even years. And the reason for that is this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. Scorpio, this is a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. This King of Cups has a lot of feelings for you, but how long have you been waiting to hear that, to feel that? How long have you been waiting for this King of Cups? Because the Seven of Pentacles is here, Venus and Taurus energy, and it is an energy of waiting. Having put in some work, been really patient, the Six Pentacles here, right on the tree, looking at them, wondering, should I put that pentacle back in, leaning on the staff, reflecting on the situation? And that's the six of pentacles there on the bush. That's the moon and Taurus energy. And that's emotional energy and communication. So we know how they feel. Pisces energy, master of emotions. It, it looks a lot like they're coming in here. Yeah, with this king of cups energy, this is a very, well, there's a lot of empathy. There's a, a lot of supportive emotional energy, somebody coming in emotionally available, wanting to talk here, having overcome something. What are they trying to overcome? Within themselves, internal, is it external? Challenges, obstacles? Let's see. All the decks that are coming in today are listed below. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs. All signs, love tarot readings, and that, I believe that is called love tarot, <laughs> messages from your person. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings and a lot more, so feel free to check it out if you're inspired to do so. Devil card, judgment card, my gosh, Capricorn and Saturn energy, and this is judgment, Pluto energy, this is Archangel Gabrielle the herald of visions, the angel for messages saying, wake up, get some clarity here. What do you want? Make a decision. It's kind of lingering here with the devil energy. So what's been, what have those internal struggles or external struggles, obstacles been? Are they still there? Is that devil influence still there? Or are they, or is it moving? The ace of swords coming in. The Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, interesting. In the upright, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Also like the Devil card. Hmm. Well, they're working out. You can see it here. Some karmic. They're in a karmic cycle. There are two pentacles here. You're a pentacle, Scorpio. What is that other pentacle? Is it a romantic interest? Family of origin? Money? Work? Cultural, religious differences? There's something here they're trying to work out. It's really clear. Balance, renewal, also balancing out those divine feminine, divine masculine energies to make a decision, which is exactly what Archangel Gabriel has been asking. It's because this it's kind of like they're still here. You know, it's kind of trying to choose or weighing out some options. Well, I'll tell you what, this is where their energy is the strongest. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's the Sun in Gemini. And that is some strong apologetic energy. 
somebody who is wanting clean slate energy, you know? And I don't think it's just getting, not talking about it. I, this is somebody who wants to communicate. They're just struggling here with whatever is in that pentacle. Connected to the devil energy. Ace of Swords, right here in your partnership placement, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. So there's a lot of clarity coming through here. Somebody here, your person, they know what they need to do, which is apologize. They're strong. Again, this is where their energy is the strongest. It's a very strong apology. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's the Sun in Gemini. How long have you been waiting for it? Because that Sun is in reverse here. And that's an energy of waiting. You know, it's a temporary energy. It doesn't, it doesn't stay in reverse. But it's, there's a sadness around waiting. We see here they're on their they're on the horse passing by these five obstacles. There is the victory wreath right on the wand, the energy of love, the idea of love, a very fast energy, matters of the heart, leading with your heart, I want to say. Here on a really quite emotional horse, but also a horse, you know, who is pushing through obstacles. Karmic lessons here, karmic cycle. Have they made the choice already? Did Archangel Gabrielle get the message across, you know, because we see here that there's still a decision, but we also saw with judgment that it really is time to make this decision. Is it more than just an apology? It's a contact energy, you know, it's a message for me. And that can be in person, but it can also be that it's coming in via SMS or social media, email. This is a sword energy. It's transactional energy. It's clarity. It's communication, it's the exchange of information, and it's also connected, of course, to the mind, to communicating what's in the mind, too. And this is the partnership placement. So somebody has some clarity that they need to apologize. Did they make a decision already? Are they making it now? Well, it's what you want. That's far too many, but this is yours. It's slow. It's Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is kind of a, it's more of the delay energy. It's connecting here with the Two of Pentacles. So have they already started to move toward you? For some of you, yes. For some of you, no. Wish fulfillment. Wishes coming true. It's the Nine of Cups. It's Jupiter and Pisces energy. And it's right here with the Ace of Swords. So it's somebody coming out of their head. And it's what you've been wanting. You're really wanting this message, I feel. You're really wanting to hear from your person. We know that it's been slow moving, but I think that Archangel Gabriel may have got through to your person because we see they want to apologize. They're clear about that. They're coming out of their head energy and they're, they're working whatever it is they need to work out. What is that in this pentacle? You know, oftentimes, I mean, it's commitment energy, but that can be to a romantic interest, even somebody from the past, for your person. It doesn't mean it's right now. Family of origin, work, money, cultural, religious differences, something they need to let go of. We did see that devil energy and that came through with Archangel Gabriel. That was a really clear message. The devil influence, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel facing up the devil saying, wake up, what do you want? We need to work on this energy. The devil energy can be around somebody who's over consuming something, you know, not for their higher good, not for the higher good of everybody. You're very connected. There is a, well, yeah, there's, there's, and it can be that somebody has been a little bit more attached than somebody else. Is that you to your person and what you have been waiting for them to kind of match, match you with, I want to say. So a delay in this message is clear. We saw that here in the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. And look what is here. Wish fulfillment, that there's some clarity. So why has your person been stuck, I want to say, up in their head? Here, it's around this Two of Pentacles. It's also around that Devil card energy. We see that there's an apology coming in for the delay, and it's what you've been waiting for. It's wanting me to turn it over. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury and Taurus energy. This is coming back in. This is an energy of loss. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like 
the separation, you know? It's the isolation. It's the sort of moving away from each other. It's in reverse here. This is coming back in. It's healing energy, and it's right here, catty corner, with the Ten of Swords. How long have they been holding on to that truth? Look at this. First of all, this page energy is doing just that. They're watching you, Scorpio. <laughs> How are they watching you? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> is this social media? Are they... For some of you, are you connected? Are you able to kind of see each other in real time, I want to say? You're, you're on their mind. And there is an energy of keeping an eye on you. And they're holding on to that truth. Look. The King of Wands. Getting ready to come with the truth. We see it here. It's what you've been waiting for. This is wish fulfillment. You've been waiting for them to kind of cl clear it up. Whatever this cycle is that they're in. And it's coming. The King of Wands is going to... to Go and get what the King of Wands wants to get, which is a message across here, which is an apology. Victory, overcoming these challenges and obstacles. I think there's still something here. We see it both even as the horse is kind of looking away. It's a particularly emotional horse, by the way. Sort of like not looking over there. And they're not quite past it yet, you know. And we see in the Two of Pentacles. But we know that Archangel Gabriel has made it through, I feel, to them. There is a clarity, again, that Ace of Wands in reverse. We see that there's been a delay. How long has the delay been that you've been waiting? For them to come here and connect with you and make this decision around whatever has been, whatever they've been, energy they've been stuck in, whatever cycle, I feel like they're still trying to come out of. But there is an apology. They're holding on to that. It's the King of Wands. And by the way, of course, we saw the King of Cups. And that's a lot of emotional energy. The master of emotions is that king of wands. Being able to, to hide it all, you know, but that's not happening anymore. We saw it. They're coming in here in a, and not in a, not at all in a, in a fight picky, <laughs> picking fight way. It's not, it's not that at all. This is a really sincere apology. This king of wands is courageous, holding on to the wand here, which... And by the way, we'll talk about temperance in a moment, which we see here they've been also hanging on to. You know, it's a delay in, in coming here. It's sort of like the King of Wands just took the wand out of here and got that Page of Swords out of this energy of just watching and waiting. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So there's a pentacle that was either, I kind of want to say, huh, you know, it's like, I don't want to take, taken away doesn't make sense, but it, there's a lack of commitment to what? Coming together, taking it to another level, talking, whatever it is, it's, it's been here in this other pentacle while they sort something out. And you can see that this is the truth coming. This is Archangel Michael here, lighting the way to the truth for everyone's highest good. It's Sagittarius energy. It's restoring balance and harmony. It's telling us that not only do they want to work things out, that they are. This is an energy of things getting worked out. Of course, co-creating with Archangel Gabriel, who came in quite early around that devil card energy, which is still kind of lingering here. So what is it, you know? And it can be internal struggles and obstacles and external by way of other people or situations, money, work, Family connections, romantic connections, past, present, or past or present, I guess. But this is a 14, and it's coming to a 5, and that's all about change. And that's coming out of the conflicting energy, which is also there. Tempering emotions. I just, the emotional truth, the emotional availability, is what you have been really wanting. You just at least want to know the truth, and this is what they've been holding on to as they work something out here. They're sending this apology through. I mean, it's really strong. You know, here, the minor arcana is kind of the day-to-day -day energy is the apology and the return. But here's Archangel Michael to kind of uh, seal the deal, <laughs> saying, yeah, this is what needs to happen here. So you can see tempering things, balancing things, balancing out here. The karmic cycle they're in, balancing out the divine feminine, divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of truth. Yeah, clarity. 
there's a lot of truth. There's a lot of clarity coming through here. At the very least, even if there's something they still haven't quite completely figured out because, you know, I feel like it's still something kind of there. They do want to apologize to you and they've been wanting to apologize to you and reach out to you and it's literally what you want. It's wish fulfillment here. The moon card. Look at that. The death card. Pisces energy, Gemini and Cancer also coming through. Um, yeah, this is all about opening up and communication. All around the emotions, it's the moon energy. And it's the subconscious, you know, it's kind of like what's been hidden under there, maybe even from your person. We see that King of Cups energy that they, there's a lot of feelings there for you that they've been hiding. The conscious, the sun has shown on the subconscious, the moon and highlighted everything here. The emotional energy, the emo, it's, blo it's been blocked. Look, it's the crustacean here. It's not a Scorpio. It's not a Scorpio. But uh, uh, could it be, a, uh, could it be a, a scorpion? Excuse me. It's a crustacean. In any case, it's blocking the emotional energy. It's You see the stream bef between you where it normally is. It's, it's dry. But that's because it's here. It's blocked. The crustacean is blocking it. Moving that crustacean out of the way and revealing all this emotional energy flowing here. Wish fulfillment, literally. Communication. Emotional. King of Cups. Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael, and of course, that King of Cups and Archangel Gabriel. The Death card, Scorpio, this is your energy. It's transformational energy. It's things changing. It's, it's something else changing here. And as Archangel Michael gets you here to this path, to the sun, this is the sun energy here. The new, the new cycle, you know, the chance for... It's a new day. It's highlighting everything here. It's highlight. It's on the way to the truth for everybody's highest good. You, your person, you have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can and they will and they do change. So here's the thing. We saw that seven of pentacles also coming in and we're seeing the death card. And there is a transformational energy coming from your person because they're, <laughs> they're coming here to apologize. There's a lot of clarity here and they really want to connect with you. And I really feel like it's in a message. It could be in person as well. They want to reveal, it's really moving this crustacean out of the way in the moon, connecting with the King of Cups as well. For some of you though, we saw that Seven of Pentacles too. So is the highest, is the, the best path for everyone. For somebody, could it be that it's actually an energy of moving on? Maybe. And you're going to know that, Scorpio. And this is your energy in particular, you know. It's a horse. It's, again, it's a really emotional horse. And yeah, it's interesting because, you know, it's kind of that, you know, it's like moving here away from having worked out these karmic lessons, this karmic cycle that somebody is in, something that they just need to go through, change, remove, release, what is it? I don't feel like it's completely released or changed, but there's an easing up energy and there's definitely some clarity that they need to include you and connect with you and communicate and apologize. But it's as if when they move through, they come here, you know, and it's transformational, literally. It's really big changes. And it's the energy too of... Well, again, for some of you, it can be a moving on energy of just saying, yeah, okay, thank you for this. I really need to hear this, but this is what I'm doing. But that's not going to be for everybody because there's also that energy of kind of clean slate energy. You know, can we talk about this and move past that energy? The four of pentacles in the upright. This is the sun and Capricorn energy. So they haven't let you go. And that's the other thing. Uh, excuse my voice, by the way. <laughs> I'm still kind of struggling with, I feel good, but I've been under the weather. So it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little wonky right now. In any case, that other pentacle here, the one that I want to say belongs to you. I mean, this king of pentacles here has a scepter, you know, that belongs to the empress and can grow and, and begin things and develop. You see here with the grapes. 
And it's in reverse, so it's not developing or growing things with you because you're here in this pentacle with something else that's going on that they need to work out. And as I said, I do feel like they're going through the transformation. They really are going through a transformation and there is a connection here with kind of second chance energy, some ego being set aside, not coming from shadow and ego and coming back in a different energy. Even just to bring bring this truth to you, you can see it, it's really clear because they've been holding on to it, kind of looking from afar. But there is still something here that they need to figure out, you know? Untangle, let go, change, release, what is that? It's in the Two of Pentacles here. And it's also connected to the Devil card, you know? And that can be some internal stuff. Yeah. You know, for some of you, maybe it's just literally your person having trouble with a commitment. You know, that's really clear here. But this is also connecting for me in the Two of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles. It's the Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio energy, and it can be commitment issues, you know, but it can also be that there's just too many things going on and somebody's kind of like stuck. It's a stuck energy when you're here for too long. And that's the other thing. Archangel Gabriel made it really clear in the beginning of your reading. Get some clarity. Make a decision. What do you want? And again, that's here. You can see it. So it can be as simple as releasing something, changing something in their life, moving past something, something they're struggling with internally, but also externally. So we see that it's still kind of here. Interesting. It's the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's a, it's a direct connection to struggling with this. This is a long-term energy, the Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo energy. You know, it's... And of course, this is a 10. So it's the end of a cycle. It's the beginning of a new one. It's renewal. For some of you, you may have been in a long-term connection with your person or you were working toward it. Look at all the grapes here and developing it. Or maybe it was on the table and you can see here that they were, you know, that, that commitment energy. So whatever that is, a message, talking more, moving in marriage, what was it? You can see that it's kind of being held back here as they work something out. So there is that energy here. It's on their mind. It's a reconnection for sure. And they're coming here with an apology. But I'm also wondering for some of you, particularly those of you on a twin flame journey, and that's not for everyone. I want to tell you, by the way, soulmate energy here. But I'll always bring it through. But it can be also that they're low. <laughs> Caught the camera in time. What I wanted to say is it can be also that there is another long-term commitment energy that is this other pentacle that is either romantic, even family of origin, you know, because this is a really long-term energy. You know, everybody's here. You see that the children and the dogs and it's, it's a family energy, you know, so it can be a family, somebody has a family or family of origin or another romantic connection. But we're also seeing here that there's just kind of something happened here with that pentacle for you. And they're sorry. Look, and they're coming with the truth. Yeah, we are we already know that, but it's your reading is really clear, Scorpio. It's Libra ruled by Venus energy. Of course, the planet of love. And Libra is connected to the infinity symbol. And that's, we know, twin flame energy, but that's also a particular kind of feeling, love, just you have a feeling, you know, it's that kind of six of cups, sun and Scorpio energy of just the soul connection of just feeling like you've known somebody forever if you haven't, you know. And that's also the balance and it's balancing out the divine feminine, divine masculine energy so they can come here with the truth with this apology, with the truth, which has been abundantly clear from the get-go of your reading that they're holding on to and not responding or not sending a message or whatever that is, the communication that you've been waiting for. But that's also the truth around what this cycle is, what they're trying to work out. Because I feel like you've kind of been in the dark and that's something that you don't like. <laughs> you know, you, you have some really deep emotions and kind of investigative qualities, you know, and trying to decipher this has been really, um, I feel just really difficult. 
And so there's some answers coming around that. And it's really connected with that Libra energy again with the balance of what it is they're, they're kind of balanced, trying to, uh, you know, kind of juggling things, making a decision. It's around, I feel this ton of pentacles energy, the seven of, of cups, this other pentacle, we can see it. It could be romantic. It could be that it's not romantic. It could be around bad, somebody who's doing something they shouldn't be doing or working too much or, or money, family of origin, whatever it is, you know, a lifestyle change, just really big differences between you or even distance. And this is coming quite literally here with that Libra energy and ruled by Venus. That's the planet of love. So this is coming again. And we also saw that with the King of Cups. It's, it's not coming with malice or arguing. This is just coming, I feel, with a really sincere apology, Scorpio, and some answers. And some answers. The Nine of Wands. Wondering if that might be a little bit of your energy. This is the moon in Sagittarius energy. And your person as well, because they have had their boundaries up, you know. It's kind of like, we, we actually know that. Because look, it's in reverse here with the Ace of Wands. They have been holding on to it. There has been sort of like a stop, I feel. We also see them coming in here quite confidently and courageously here also with the King of Wands as they ride in here. But there's also an energy of you here, you know, just of kind of protecting yourself. And interestingly enough, behind this ninth wand are the eight wands. And that's Mercury and Sagittarius energy, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And it's quite fast with that Sagittarius energy. So it's a message coming in that that I feel like, yeah, that you're, you're kind of like anticipating it, but not on about dreading it, but maybe just a little bit worried about it. Waiting for it, though, nonetheless. Okay, so there's cards being revealed here, and this is sliding off the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's the chariot card. It's Cancer and Moon energy, and this is the, this is the movement here. This is the, and these are coming in. So here's your Nine of Wands. Wow. Okay. The strength card. There's a really strong, there's a really strong connection between you. And look at that. The strength here for waiting, but also for your person working through this karmic situation, these karmic lessons, something in their life that they have to go through. And there's, there is a really strong pull between you. I want to say there's a lot of chemistry. And of course, that's the infinity symbol, but that's also an eight. This is the eighth card. And eight is also, of course, connected to karma, connected to infinity, connected to the action. It's also manifestation and abundance. What's the action here? They're coming here to apologize, to tell you the truth, what you've been waiting to hear, everything. I feel like they want to tell you everything. And this is how, how it came in. So the Hermit in reverse, it's Mercury and Virgo energy, you know, and this is where you go <laughs> for clarity and truth and to figure out what you want for that renewal. Look, it's holding up the star. It's spending time alone. It's part of, um, I feel like the separation here of not talking. For some of you, it might also be physical. And just within your person, it's in reverse. So there is some stuck energy here. You know, it's it's the separation too. It's it's kind of isolation, but there's also a lonely energy. I do feel they really want to connect with you. And look at this. There's the Six of Cups that we felt coming in, the Sun and Scorpio energy, soul connection. For some of you, this is your twin flame. It's not for everyone. And your twin flame can be a soulmate. It can feel like you've known your person forever and you really have. Some of you may have known your person since childhood, but it can also just feel that way, you know? And that's a soul connection energy. There's a fear in the hermit, you know, in reverse of that stuck energy that almost keeps you from making a decision because you're afraid to make a mistake. You're afraid to kind of make the same mistake. 
So it's coming through for you and it's coming through for your person too. There's kind of like a fear. I don't know if it's a fear of intimacy, what it is, sharing this truth, this emotional availability, whatever it is, there's kind of a stuck energy between you. But there's an undeniable connection to kind of in every way, I want to say, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And you feel that too, but they've been holding that back. And we saw that in the King of Cups. And we also see things are on the move here. This is the moon energy and it's cancer energy, which is really emotional. And of course, the moon, <laughs> of course, connecting with cancer everything being revealed, the communication, how this crustacean moving out of the way and letting the emotional energy flow is that's what, what's coming in in this cup here because look at that. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio and the Fool card. This can oftentimes be a proposal. It can be kind of like, it can be really marriage, but that's not going to be for everyone because what is what is it that you've been wishing for around this communication? Is it the apology in here? Is it to talk more? Is it for some of you to meet, take things to another level? Is it to go back here for those of you that were in the Ten of Pentacles or put it back on the table for you? Whatever it is, there is a clean slate energy here of that happening. It's the full card. Aquarius and Uranus energy, Uranus, all about change. And this is taking that chance, you know? So this is the thing I really feel like for a lot of you, it is aligning, of taking this chance. You know, there's a fear of being hurt and there's already some hurt here and they're, they're wanting to make this right. And will you take a chance? I'm hearing that song. Gosh, I think I've been, <laughs> this song, I've, it's been going on in my head, take a chance on me. There's some French in that song, Lule, take a chance on me. What is that song? It's sort of like, just take it, come on, you know? And it's coming from both energies. It's like this, you know, I, there's this pull going on. There's that star energy actually in the Hermit card. And that's also the Strength card here. There's a very strong pull to each other. There's a chemistry here and there's a soul connection. If this apology... This message I feel coming in of honesty and sincerity is what I feel is going to change things just for the for everybody's highest good here and with temperance, just to be able to move on and know that it was real, that it wasn't, you know, an illusion. Gosh, somebody imagining it. If that's all that you're wanting here, it's coming. If you're wanting more than that, that might be coming here too. And by the way, there's a lot of reunion energy in that Six of Cups, you know? And there's there's kind of like a dreamy energy around that. But it's also, well, yeah, it's also an energy of kind of when figuring out, look here, how to either see or talk to you again, whatever that is. That just wanted to show itself. It's the Knight of Wands. Yeah. On the move here. The Knight of Wands is just sort of like, <laughs> we see the Ace of Wands in reverse and we see the King of Wands here. So we know. And the Six of Wands is just coming in here in a different vibe, in particular connecting really with the Death card in a strong way today for me. But just holding on, look, there's a little bit of fear here. Uh, they've got their armor on. And so it's a little bit of, and it almost looks like those horses in the carousel, you know, so maybe there, maybe for some of you, there were some games. I don't feel that for everybody, but this is just kind of coming here, you know, like making that move. And for me, that's a message. It can be there was some power struggles. I don't really feel that. I just feel like there's just been a wait, you know. And they're just trying to work something out. I don't know if they've really worked it all out yet, but they're still wanting to come here. I'm bringing in some Oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go. And by the way, I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now. Just not feeling it. I want to move it a little bit more. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Scorpio. Aho. Injury. Yeah, so that the herd here, that's not anything that we don't know. But it's a validation and it's also connecting with that Ten of Swords in reverse. And, and they're sorry for hurting you. 
also here looking in that Six of Cups as I bring you this message. This is really clean slate energy. It's, you know, it's working this out so that wherever you're going to go from here, you know, there's some peace that's made around that. Caching and curiosity look. It's sort of like, you know, filling it up for later and curiosity. Huh, that's interesting. That's connecting really strongly for me with the Page of Swords. So while you're not hearing from your person, I feel this is connecting with that energy here of they're still keeping an eye on things. <laughs> you may think that they're not, but they are. And they're kind of saving, saving up what they want to say. And sorry, that cards do start to get covered. That's just what happens here. So there's that release energy. This is around the devil energy that we saw and also the death card. And that's the something within that two of pentacles, the seven of cups, perhaps again, the devil energy that they're needing to release internally, but also something or someone, something externally. So that's coming through here. I really like that. And it's wanting to connect here with the Seven of Cups where they've been stuck. And it's connecting with the Moon and it's connecting with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands coming here with that. I feel a message. Somebody here might just be also kind of in, it's showing routine. It almost looks, it looks European, doesn't it? And somebody here might be in, I want to say, yeah, just kind of like, a daily routine of their life. There might be less going on than you think. <laughs> That's interesting. It's, it's funny because I, I instinctively was shuffling it in because I didn't think it really belonged to you and it wants to be in here. So it belongs to you. Balance coming in. This is really so much of the reading here. This is so much of the reading here. Yeah, I mean, it's... Balancing out the divine feminine and divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of honesty and truth and share, open up emotionally, which we saw that in the King of Cups, but it's also working out this cycle here for the renewal that they so desperately want that you also really want. So I really like this. It is around something in their life. Look, the community card wanting to show itself. I do feel it's it's internal, but it's connecting to other people. Here is that fear of, look, it's the risk of injury, too, of being hurt again. That's also the Nine of Wands coming through. Yeah, because there is a con there's a strong connection here, but there is some fear, not even just of commitment, of just maybe revealing. It's the risk of injury. It's the risk of being hurt again. This is definitely yours. And I'm going to channel some more, and then we're going to get into some channeled love messages, pun intended. <laughs> okay, distractions. So somebody here, and are these yours? I feel like these are yours. Yeah, these are yours. I generally take around three, but sometimes it's just really clear to me. So the gifts is coming in. This is connecting with the Six of Cups, really wanting to come in here literally with that cup. And we see that in the King of Cups. We see that also with the Nine of Cups. It's, it's an emotional, it's an emotional vulnerability, availability in this communication. It's around the truth. There, I do not feel any, any like, I don't feel any discord here. You know, look, it's bringing in a button, this crow. You know, crows, <laughs> if you're, you do things for a crow or you feed them and whatnot, they'll come and bring you gifts the rest of your life. They're coming in here with a button, which of course needs to be mended. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be sewn. It's healing. It's forgiveness. They are asking for an apology here. And it's coming to kind of make peace too, to fix things. Look, the safety pin is open. Ow. Also, the injury that we feel coming through here, that's happened. It's the hurt. But there's still a fear around more. There is that star. Black feathers, when they're coming in for me, it's a sign of angels in protective mode. So there is some healing here, for sure, that is needing to come through. You know, there's money, there's flowers, it's an, like an offering. 
I think that might be a marvel. There's a key. Insight. Things being revealed. What's behind that door? What do they have to say? This feels like a really nice conversation, Scorpio. Wherever you're going to go, you know, you both, everyone has free will. Rain. Open-hearted. If I had to pick one phrase today for your reading, I would say open-hearted conversation, open-hearted communication. Yeah, this is exactly how I'm feeling in my heart as your reading comes in today. That's what I'm feeling. The rain is cleansing, you know? Look, it's the rainbow here that comes after it. It's sometimes a little annoying to get around in it, you know, but it's beautiful sounds and it replenishes the earth and there's been fires and, and droughts. You know, it's coming in and, and bringing much needed emotional energy. It's rain, it's the water. This is, look, this is so goosebumpy. It's what you've been waiting for, for this to come in. It's the hope that, because there is, an, there is a strong emotional, there's a strong emotional, mental, spiritual connection here. For some of you, this is, you're not connected, I want to say, like seeing each other, you know. Um, but even then, there's just a very strong connection. And this is that rain coming in. It's a really good thing. It's cleansing. It's the emotional energy. It's reviving things. It's growing plants, you know. It's giving nourishment to birds and, and particular animals. And then the rainbow comes after, the hope after that of now what, look what we've done and all the hope for everything that, that this rain has touched, this emotional energy. It's what you've been waiting for. The isolation, that's the separation. And here comes abundance. It's ending that. And this is somebody who I feel like is kind of alone. It's intense when I send that message. Look, there's a little lantern here. It's almost like the hermit <laughs> lantern. Look, it's not quite the same, but it's that energy for me because this is isolation and it's in reverse. So it's somebody who's been stuck, who doesn't really want to be alone and be stuck, but has been. And it's around something they have to work out and release. And we see they're really trying and it's, I feel it's happening here. Also releasing some blocks, you know, but this is an isolation. It's this really the same energy. It's a lonely energy, you know, you go there for so long to get some clarity, but you can end up there for too long. And that's also why Archangel Gabriel came in so early and said, it's time to get out now, make a decision. And this is what's coming abundance. I really like this. Even if that is just around connecting and clearing a lot of things up and hearing things and saying things that need to be said and heard. There's enough for everybody here. Nobody has to hold back. Everybody can, you know, bringing in more and somebody's other people are enjoying it, you know. And it's when you have an abundance of what? Emotional energy, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual and sharing it in particular with a partner. Because sometimes somebody is lacking. It's not always going to be perfect reciprocity, you know. Sometimes when you're in a connection, it's not saying that it's not supposed to be <laughs> balanced and reciprocal. And I mean more of, well, yeah, it's like a deal you make. It's a partnership, your team, you know. It's teamwork here. So everybody benefits. If somebody's strong enough to fly out and get it and... And then next time, maybe somebody else's. Then everybody benefits from that. Nobody's withholding emotional energy, nourishment that feeds the connection, that keeps you strong and able to, yeah, do all the things you need to do. Okay. Really beautiful reading, Scorpio. Really unexpected. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. And... Bringing in mine and my little ones as well. What do you want to say to your, your Scorpio? Messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. I wish I could tell you what is really going on in my life. And that's what they're wanting to do. Things are so covered now, but you know what's here. Conversations with you were the highlight of my day. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. I write messages that I never send. My gosh, it's a lot around the messages here. I don't understand why I'm so connected to you. That's the Six of Cups energy.
I did not expect to fall so in love with you. I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. Chills just kind of went through because that is for a lot of you. It's not for everybody that it's around. Well, it is around the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, you know? But I wanted to say maybe not around the Devil energy, but there's something here still that is keeping your person. Whether it's family of origin, another person, past or present. A situation, money, work, whatever it is. Did you notice I had sent a message? There's a lot of this going on here. Come to me in my dreams, I'll kiss you there. Are you okay? Asking you if you're okay, that's connecting with the King of Cups. That's it. Sometimes I imagine just packing up and coming to you. When you feel my energy, it's because I am thinking of you. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. It's Ten of Swords in reverse. It's the apology. I know you were giving more and I'm so sorry. Yeah. We didn't see it here, but we saw the Seven of Pentacles, you know, of you kind of waiting and waiting. And there aren't the Six of Pentacles are there waiting for that give and take, the reciprocity. Because this is an energy of the Six of Pentacles in reverse, of not giving, you know, in kind of a selfish energy, a one sided energy. So that's more of the apology that's coming through. Bringing in the little itty bitty ones, and then we're going to close your reading. You deserve so much more. A little bit of insecurity coming through. I made so many mistakes. Please never give up on us. Putting this with the Six of Cups. I have so many regrets. No. I think this one was yours, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have changed me for the better. I will never give up on us. And as always, take what resonates for you, you know? <laughs> Somebody trying to hide this? What is this? My gosh, I will never give up on us. Please never give up on us. Don't give up on us. I was about to, I was, as I was saying that, it's because I, I just feel like not everybody will resonate with that. <laughs> they made sure that it came down again. My heart is yours. You are perfect. Beautiful Scorpio, that is your reading today. I really enjoyed your reading so much. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video. Subscribe to the Tarot Closet. It really helps to keep the channel going. And it goes without saying thank you for being here today. I really appreciate you joining me here. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye, Scorpio.